Vicky here with you and there's less light right now because I want to jelly plate do some jelly printing and the above camera was getting a huge glare because of the jelly printing and even here there's a glare right now but with the paint it's not going to show so much but it was really bad with the other one so I'm um, basically I want to do Kylie Koo's new um, new cards and this time around she put it's it's all about gratitude and she did her series of card and I haven't done jelly printing in a while so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do some and to use that as my background for um, for the cards and since I'm going to be doing that I might as well do some other backgrounds so I figured let's just you know open up the camera and share it with all you guys be fun. So, just gonna add a bit of brown. Okay, so my cards have been gessoed. I'm just gonna do that to them. Like I said, I haven't been jelly printing in a while so and uh, I want to wipe that off over here so just gonna put my cards on there it's been a while so I used to jelly print a lot I like these But I haven't done it in a little bit, so so it's kind of fun to do stuff that you haven't done in a while. I tend to forget about using some of the products that I have. Okay, so I like that. Um, The one that I did up front on, on the top, not so much. So I will try that again. But these are pretty cool. So I'm liking this, and I can actually do some more stuff on top, um, add some gold and whatever. So that I'm putting aside. I've got a big tray. It, it was one of those. Um, the, the tabletop I guess but they I would suppose that the people that had it um, lost their uh, something happened and basically the uh, the table was ruined because when I went to the dollar store only the only thing that was there was the the platter but it's perfect for it's perfect for what I need which is to So I wonder if I do this. No. I'll add a bit of brown like I did last time. And then I'll just do the, the cards directly on the jelly plate. So like that. And then just put my cards directly on there. Yeah, I much prefer this. So that, uh, there's still a bit of brown. That's what's missing to this card. Okay, so my cards are ready, but at the same time, I figured if I'm going to pull this out, I might as well use it to do some um, jelly printing on some envelopes that I've sewn together so I can make more journals. I haven't made journals with, um, uh, with envelopes in a while, 
and um, those are usually thinner and cheaper so I thought it, it could be a fun thing to to add some to my um, Etsy store I, I'm hoping you guys are going to be interested in them so figured I could do some using the jelly printing I mean I can always add to it after because that's usually what I do but in the meantime it could be fun to just do that oh I like that so let's do this oh check that out that's a pretty uh, that's pretty. And uh, hmm. I want to use it on there, but I don't want to spread it. So, how about trying that? So, I got some of it here. And I got some on the back here. So that makes for a pretty cool base that I can continue embellishing. So I'm gonna hang this so that it dries. And then obviously I'm gonna come back and do the rest. Um, I'm kind of torn. So let's put this aside and put this here and that like that and just use my BB wipes to clean off the stencil but to at the same time do a great background to this envelope I'm glad I'm getting to use my stencils because I buy the big ones exactly for this. Okay, so that's one side done. Let's turn this over and wipe down the other side of the stencil. So I'm basically not wasting anything because I don't like wasting. I like wasting paint. And if you can do a design like this, it's pretty cool. So it gives a kind of a base for something. So I'll put that aside. Put my jelly print out again. Just gonna before I do anything else, I'm just gonna make sure. Okay, it's pretty clean. Um, and then I put fingers in, on the bottle, which obviously has paint all over it. Okay, so that's that. Now I want to do some more. I have this one that is already started, but it's in the purples and the pinks. So let's uh, pull out purple. That's all that I like that I can use for this. I think this one would be cool if I can get it off 
until breaking it. Oops, on the side. Put some pink. I love the pink. That's a hot pink. That's a really hot pink. But I think with the purple is kind of nice. Okay, so. Take this off. Careful with it. I'm just gonna place it here. And hold that on. I think I did this. I must have done this with tattered angel sprays because it's all shimmery. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I don't want to waste whatever is left on there. Just gonna I love using envelopes, as you know. So I think that makes some cool painty paper. So that's the start to something. Just gonna move this a bit. And then I'm gonna turn this over so that I can actually put this on there and do the same trick I just did on the other side of the envelope so that my design is pretty much finished for that envelope. I can just you know add some collage bits and pieces. But that cover has a nice base already. That's one side, and here's the other side. I really like how it turned out. And then that, let's bring this back. I've cleaned one side, I didn't clean the other side. So let's clean the other side of my stencil. to this so I kind of like that so what else I'd like to finish at least all the um, I've got two more so let's finish the other ones and then and then we'll continue with um, me showing you the uh, the card that I will. Oh my God! I made a mess with my hands. I always do that. Just need to <clears throat> wipe it down a bit, just because I don't want to put brown on stuff that's another color. Okay, so we did this now. Let's. Uh, I was thinking of using this yellow. And some of this blue. Stencil for this. I always end up using the same ones, so I'm trying to 
you know, alternate a bit. So my stencils are all hung on uh, one of those things. And I can just flip through them and decide which one I want. I think I'm going to use this one. Get it off the other one. Okay, so I was thinking a bit of green. Seems uh, strange, but blue and yellow make green. And that was just the color that was inspiring me. So we'll see. this oh I like that it's very pretty and I'm wondering if I can do this without Messing up that too much. That's cool. So I'm not wasting anything. Put this aside. Oops. And finish it off. Just wiping some of this. I can use this to do more of the, the edge of the envelope because the edge will get a lot of coverage because the jelly plate is not big enough. Here are the two sides, and I think that's a pretty good start of something. And that's all I need is like start of something, so that after that I can I can go on. But uh, yeah, you need to have some sort of something on the background. Okay, so we've got one left. How about I do the combination that had me all happy all summer, which is I think those three colors. So turquoise. And uh, I'll use this one. It's been used before, but it's a pretty one. And put my pink. Oh, 
Oh, I like this. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay, so before I do anything else to this, I just want to wipe down my jelly plate. But it's pretty clean already because I used up most of the the paint on both sides. So, so yeah, I should do this more often. But yeah. tend to forget, and it it gets a bit messy, and uh, that's what happens. Okay, so then uh, just want to put this uh, on here. I like that. So I get to clean my stencils and at the same time I don't waste paint and it makes for cool designs. So we will see each other when I get into the house and I start working on my little cards. Uh, so see you soon. Hi everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you and my desk is still clean. I managed to do it. I'm uh, quite impressed with myself. I probably didn't do a big enough project to mess it up. But I have done a few and so I'm pretty proud of myself for keeping uh, it clean. So you saw me making the background. I've um, added a, a little bit of uh, stenciling to it and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so now I'm ready to do the first card which was the Faith. And I, while I was looking for quotes, uh, inspiring quotes, I found this one, Have Faith in Yourself. And I thought that would be a great quote to use on this. I also have, I used up some of my painty paper and I'm left with this little strip. And I threw it in the bin and of course I picked it back up. So I'm going to use it. I used up all the stickers except for this bird on this sheet so I'm pretty happy that I actually used up a full sheet of stickers all at once and um, I'm not left with a ton of them and so let's just start I was thinking of using these uh, beads on this and the little bird and the little strip and then the words so we'll just start gluing everything down and take it from there I guess it's not going to be a long process, but the process of making the backs was pretty long already. So you guys have actually a longer video than what I usually make when I make these cards. I think most of the time my cards have been uh, have not been really long. Okay, so that's the first step. I think I'm going to use the mahogany 
on this. Because I think it's going to go with uh, the painty paper. For the back, I'm probably going to just do a little bit of black edge to just find it. Needs to be defined a bit more. You know me and my edging. So, so like that, and. Uh, Find that it's missing a bit. Okay, so that's done. So maybe I should do this first and then uh, and then this, or do I put that on top? I think I want it on top. So just do the edges. And then I'm going to put some Supon tape on this because I think that's probably one of the best ways to hold it up, I'm hoping anyway. So here we go. Marc Paul, baisse ta musique s'il te plaît. Mac Paul. My husband's not hearing me. Let me yell. I'm always afraid that uh, the music that's be that's playing in the background is going to be heard. So I'm being careful about the the rules of um, of YouTube. So I don't know if I've made it, but I'm I'm almost. I was this morning almost at uh, uh, we're Sunday and I was almost at 5,000 so if I've reached 5,000 by the time you see this video then there's a giveaway that uh, I have put up I prepared the video but I'm waiting until I actually reach the 5,000 so I was I was four subbies away and then I went down one so I was five subbies away and then I went back up two so now I'm three away but I'll believe it when I actually see it so I haven't uh, that's also why I had not prepared the video ahead but I figured it might happen this week so I wanted to have my video done because when I work it's kind of hard to do that So if I did reach the 5,000, then there's a day where you got two videos. One at six and one, one whenever. And that's one thing you guys have helped me is to have more faith in myself that I was going to put this in the glue. Duh. Um, so yeah, you've helped me a lot. So I really appreciate every single one of you 
and uh, the ones that leave a comment it's very very appreciated okay so this is I think a cute little card and uh, yeah I've used up my little pity piece and I've used up my last sticker so I'm quite happy with it hope it inspires you hope you go and check out Kylie Koo and uh, the the positive deck that she does and there's a Facebook group as well and that, that is it for now. Bye everyone.